Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am using a nice little gray stone here. It's kind of flat, kind of weirdly shaped. I wasn't sure what to put on it. So we're going to do some flowers. Uh, these flowers are inspired by uh, like vintage tattoos and stuff like that. I'm just kind of coming up with my own thing. Um, I'm using a sponge to make three little dots on my rock where the center of my three flowers are going to be. And then because my rock is gray, I am using white to kind of prime my petals of my flowers because we're going to be using blue, um, but I don't want it to be a bluish gray. If you prime it with white paint, your color will come out the way you want it to in the end. So I'm using some white just for the centers and for the petals of my flowers. The rest I'm not going to use white for. Um, my 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 leaves and stuff like that will stand out enough as it is. But if you're using a lighter color, um, if you saw the thumbnail, then you know that the centers are like a yellowish orange and the petals are like a, a lightish blue. So we want these colors to be nice and bright. So it's best to start off with a white background. So I'm just doing my three flowers, um, four petals on each flower, and then I'm going to go in and turn them blue once all that white paint is dry. Uh, so I am going to just kind of outline the outer edge of my petals. I'm not going all the way out to the edge because I am going to be using some gold paint and some black paint uh, or to um, line around our petals. So it's okay if there's a little bit of white there. That means that when I'm sponging right now, and blending a lighter color called Calypso Blue on top of my, what other color blue did I just show you? Um, all paint colors are gonna be listed in the description, but I did start off with dark blue, which is called True Blue, and now I'm going in with Calypso. Uh, I think it's called Calypso Sky. I will check for you right now, Calypso Sky. And uh, I'm just kind of sponging on lightening the um, center of those petals. So I start off with True Blue, sponge on a little bit of Calypso just to kind of lighten it up and give it some some depth. And I just like to sponge, you know me. I like to blend, <laughs> blend in with the crowd. Uh, I'm sorry, you guys have to understand how nutty I might be in some of these few uh, coming tutorials. I know you guys understand, you're probably going nutty as well, and you might appreciate my craziness because it might make you feel normal. <laughs> so I am doing that to each petal. I'm not going to bore you and show you me doing it to each uh, petal, but um, I'm doing the same thing to each one. This is going to look messy until the very end because it's kind of like you're going to watch me paint this and it's not really, it's kind of like a picture that's not really in focus and it's kind of fuzzy and it's all going to be like cleaned up and, and clear in the end. So, um, cause I don't do any of the cleanup until the very end of this one. So you uh, might be able to hear my kids. Um, they are playing around outside in the backyard right now. Um, luckily, we are still allowed to go play outside in our backyards. And as long as we don't have any visitors, everything is good. Um, and we have not. I've actually been secluded to my house with the boys since uh, Friday the 13th when they came home from school, um, the 13th of March. So we have been in the house this whole time. My husband's uh, still being called out to emergencies, um, but here most of the time, thank goodness, and he's been doing a lot of the grocery shopping as well. So he's been our warrior, and uh, I want to just shout out to anybody out there who is the one who's going outside, getting the groceries, touching the shopping carts and, and doorknobs and handles and, and being near people who don't want to respect the social distancing um, safe distancing, I should call it. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go back to this rock for a moment. I will get back to talking in a, in a sec. So I did do like four little diamonds with white between the petals. Um, and then I did saffron yellow in the center using a sponge. Once that saffron yellow dries a little bit, I'm going to sponge a little smaller, smaller sponge of orange in there. Uh, and that will be 
it for our centers until we add the secret surprise. Um, now I'm using a dark green for these leaves. It's called Thicket. Um, I, like I said, all paint colors will be listed in the description if you want to use the same colors as me. You don't have to. You can use any light blue and dark blue you choose. You can use any yellow and orange shade of yellow and orange you want. You can use whatever shades of green you want. Just try and use a dark green and a light green. That's all you got to do. So I'm doing like half of the leaf dark green, half of the leaf light green. So that's all you have to do for that. I am going to paint it on with a paintbrush first and then kind of smooth out all of my brush strokes with a sponge because I don't like brush strokes. I don't. So I am going to put a little sponge of orange in the center. Uh, you can still see the saffron yellow on the outer edges of it, um, but it's orange in the center. So I'm not sure what happened with my lighting just there. <laughs> now I'm using a blending brush. It's actually a makeup brush that I stole from my makeup brushes and it blends the paint very well. <laughs> so I don't do my makeup. Why not use the brushes that I purchased with, with full determination and will that I was going to learn how to do makeup. <laughs> Everything is self-taught when it comes to me. So I self-taught myself to use my makeup my makeup brushes for painting on rocks. And that is what I've done. <laughs> I'm being creative. So I am sponging on light green just to kind of smooth out all of those brush strokes. And uh, make sure you have your gold ready because we are going to be using gold very soon. Um, now I mixed two different shades of purple together. Eggplant and perfect purple and I am doing I know you guys might see like a strange image in these purple things not only do they remind me of eggplants which if anyone knows what the eggplant emoji means they look like an eggplant purple right and they also have a strange shape so please laugh about it <laughs> don't make fun of me that I wasn't attempting to make anything rude on my flower rock just so you know <laughs> so if they if you see them and they look strange to you they are but they won't look as strange when we are all done <laughs> a lesson from me now I am using a little bit of glitter it's nail glitter I will list that in the description as well it's called shell powder or chrome powder I'm putting that on the leaves just to give them a nice little sparkle uh, and then I'm putting a little bit of triple thick over top to hold that glitter where I want it on the petals. I don't want that glitter to travel over onto my little eggplant shapes <laughs> or on my leaves. Um, we're doing something different with the leaves afterwards. So I only want that glitter on the blue petals. So they're going to be shiny and they're going to dry and we're going to work on other things. Um, now leave your little white parts white. I'm doing a second coat on the purple bits because, um, I can see through it still anywhere you can see through, make sure you let it dry properly and go back to it because once it's dry, you'd be surprised how much you can actually see through it. So it might look great when it's still wet and shiny, but once it's dry, take a look, make sure you can't see through it because you'll be really upset with that if you resin it and then you're like, oh, I can see right through the rock. So now I am going to outline everything, absolutely everything in gold. Now these two little purple eggplant bits, <laughs> I'm separating them with gold so they don't look as strange. Um, and basically this is just a strange little weird flower bouquet. Okay, so these are just strange made up flowers with made up bits and colors. <laughs> but it's going to look beautiful. I promise. Wait till you see this resin. Um, I'm also going to be putting a little bit of nail chrome powder on the centers on the orange parts. And it's more of a gold color of chrome powder. Um, but when I buy my chrome powder, it comes in like a set of five or seven. I, I never know how many comes in. I've had it for years and it's, I still have a lot left. It lasts forever. And I got it on Amazon. 
It comes with a bunch of different colors and I use them on my rocks all the time. So they've, they've come in really handy. And like I said, a little goes a long way and uh, I don't need to replace them anytime soon. So it's worth the little bit of money I spent on them. Um, so I'm just making sure that my little eggplant bits are still purple and I've got my leaves, my purple petal, or sorry, my blue petals are dry. Uh, they're still shiny because they have triple thick on them, but that's okay. Um, everything is going to look, um, shiny and beautiful and glossy once it's all resined anyway, all of it's going to be shiny, not just the petals. So after I've outlined absolutely everything, including the center, I am going to outline it again in black. So right outside your gold line, you got to do a black one. And that's so that we can separate everything. We These flowers just kind of look like they're laying on top of each other in a messy fashion. But now we are going to clean it all up and separate them all um, so that they're lifted off each other and they're all, it just changes everything a lot. So you'll, you'll understand. Um, but we're going to outline everything, the leaves, the petals, um, the little, uh, white diamond shapes. They're, they're outlined with gold and now black as well. Um, and it'll all come together very, very soon. So everything is outlined. I'm now going to split down the middle with gold and then do some little pinstripes on the dark green portion of the leaves. So I run a gold line down the center to separate light green and dark green. And then I do some little pinstripes on a diagonal down the, the dark green side. So you don't have to do this. It's just something that... Um, I was inspired, like I said, by some vintage tattoos and some of the leaves have these pinstripes on them and I just love them so much. So I'm also going to do some little dots. I just start with three big dots on the petals and walk them down. Doesn't matter if they're all even, just walk the gold dots down the petal or up the petal, whichever way you're, you're going. <laughs> um, but yeah, each petal has nice little gold dots on them now. Everything's outlined in gold, outlined in black. Um, I'm going to put black dots on all these white parts. And I'm going to put, here's the gold uh, shell powder, actually. I'll show you how I did that. Same way I did the, the leaves or sorry, the, the blue petals with the uh, blue glitter or purplish glitter. Um, yeah, just put a little bit. It, I, I buy a little bag of um, like a, a little bulk set of eye makeup sponges on Amazon, super cheap. Uh, and that's what I use to put this glitter on, on my rocks if I don't use my finger, which happens sometimes if I don't feel like digging for the makeup sponges. <laughs> so I'm also going to cover those little orange bits with um, the triple thick so that that glitter stays in place as well. Um, and I'm putting black dots in the center of all of these white diamonds. So just one little black bloop in each spot where we have that white diamond. And then it's pretty much finished. I just have to sign my name. <laughs> I can't wait to show it to you, Resin. It's absolutely gorgeous. They all are. Anything shiny is gorgeous, in my opinion. <laughs> Even my forehead after I get off the treadmill. <laughs> oh, I'm here to entertain y'all. <laughs> so here's the triple thick. Just putting it on the center. Just a little bit. Hold that glitter there. Um, I found out very quickly that if you don't do this, you don't see your glitter as much. It's definitely not where you wanted it to be when it's all resined. It just kind of runs down your rock and then the whole thing is glittery. So if you just want to accent certain spots on your rock with glitter, you got to use some glue or triple thick or something over top of it to hold that glitter in place. So I'm going to sign my uh, initials are M. And, and then we are almost ready to resin. I'm really excited to show you. It's eye candy. It's eye candy. I'm so thankful that I get to still communicate with all of you, even though uh, with everything that's going on in the world today, 
I just want to say thank you to every single one of you who've hit that subscribe button. Look at this beautiful rock, people. This is gorgeous. Sorry about the notifications. Um, isn't that beautiful? All those colors stand out. All the gold pinstripes and dots, they're just beautiful. It's gleaming. This looks beautiful on any color of stone. You could do this on a canvas. You could do this on a piece of wood. Do it on a piece of paper, guys. You don't have to be rock painting. You can just paint with me. Thank you for being there with me. Um, hopefully, I'll be going live on my birthday, which is the 29th of March. And hopefully, I'll get to know some of you guys a little bit more through that. And uh, until then, keep painting. There will be more tutorials on the way. I love you guys. Hit subscribe if you haven't. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.